Make some noise. I need everybody in front of and the back to come out to the front. Is it like yes, no? I don't know. Yes, no. I emo. I used to live in Sweden. The, the only stations in English they had was like this nature show. I probably was watching like something and they said the Serengeti having like so many different types of uh, land for like deserts and swamp areas. And like I thought, I probably thought that that was cool or something like that and just stuck. I always wanted to be an entrepreneur, my own man. For two years, I was traveling a lot. Like I, I, I went to school in Japan, and then I went to school in Sweden. And like in that time, I really started reflecting and writing a lot and writing. And my passion for music was like always rap. And then coming back from uh, abroad and coming back to the states, there was really no rap that I listened to that really touched on some of the thoughts that I had. Being like this young traveler, I guess. And uh, that's when I really started to wanting to make my own take on rap music. My favorite actor was Denny long before he played night. When Barringer was a substitute, everything was going right. Even after Jordan left and Dave Corzine retired. Sean Dunstan's wild throws and Mike Dicka got fired. Favorite actor Denny, favorite drink called Dolls, Bears, Hawks, Sox, Bulls. Play softball. I used to work on the beer trucks for Budweiser, so I'd been like in every neighborhood delivering beer and like I would always write on the trucks and I like to pick up stuff. Like I was living in Rogers Park and the the barn, the Budweiser thing was on like 47 in California, so I'd have to take the bus from West Rogers Park to the Red Line all the way down to 47th and take the bus all the way to uh, California. So it's like you're spanning the whole city. So it's like a lot of different uh, fodder. And then being on the trucks, it's like, how could you not write about Chicago? You know, if you're into all that stuff, it's like, you know, it's like your canvas. You know, like people talking all the time, like, oh, that's perfect, let me write this down. You know, oh, the bud, the bud, the bud, the bud, the bud. You know, <laughs> perfect, easy. No way around the low, but you gotta work. You gotta get a J-O-B. A J-O-B to me. I guess first things first, man. I gotta find a publicist oh. so I can put everybody on to my music. Master. How are you doing? Where are you going? The path you're on. It's the show it. It's everything. If you're in right. I've always sort of been like that as far as like living in your head, like little stories, scenarios. I mean, like me and my buddy Chris from grade school, like we had this running character called Pee Wee that we acted out for like nine years. And it's always been like that, like characters. And I got this album I did out in LA called Friday Night. And it's just a story. It's like a total character. It's like a musical. And it's about these two guys and they kick it one night after work and like all this melee happens. And then we did a second record called Saturday Night. And it picks up the story like seven years later. And then me and Trim did an album called uh, Conversation with Kenny slash Legacy of Lee. And it's another total story album about Kenny and this guy named Lee. And so yeah, stories. I'm all about it. I love, I love movies and I always have stories like going on in my head. So I guess it comes natural. Kenny Dennis, come on up here. Come on. Come on up here and tell these people your courageous story. I met this guy named DP. Showed me about drum and bass and techno and hip hop and cocaine and rape. I'm total, total disappointment to myself first tour in a 2003 it was like a nationwide thing like sleeping on floors and stuff and I did another one in 2004 and then I got back at it uh, last year we went out with uh, Black Moth Super Rainbow did the Southeast and then we did uh, some tours with Deerhoof some shows in uh, New York and the Northeast and then we did Y from like California to uh, North Carolina and now we're going out to Germany. To the top of the sky, sleep a couple of those. Shit, that's my dead wife. You know, honey, I'll be back. I'll get some ice. Rapper. Mondo and Tony, um, I've done music both with both of them for a long time. Mondo plays everything, and Tony is more like a tech whiz. Most of the on the verse. I did an album with Tony Trim called Yumi and uh, The Legacy of Lee. Me and Mondo did like three tours together. We used to have like a little band. We went out and did that stuff, and now the three of us, we're going to Europe. Like, I have a whole a whole lot of like, thoughts that I want to uh, see come reality as far as records. Like, I have like these six I'm working on right now, and I have ideas for like about five more, just to uh, complete those and have them come out. 
to play the music to people too, just to, to play out.